Yeah, Davion, I guess it's been two games now where you guys have had to play, you know, down significant scholarship players. What kind of what kind of toll has that taken on everybody? Um, <clears throat> it's taking a toll um, just a little bit. I feel like us coming up short has uh, had some different advantages, but I feel like the more we have people back and the more we have uh, time together and keep working together and <clears throat> doing everything together and just getting better and progressing and improving in practice is, is going to get better in the long run. So that's that's all it's been a toll on for real. Um, were you guys surprised they broke out the full court press as much as they did today? No, we wasn't surprised at all. We was ready. Uh, we practiced a lot, uh, especially in the four practices we had uh, before this game. But um, the four practices we had was really, really good. I feel like we executed a lot more better than we did in the game today. But um, <clears throat> yeah, we was, we was we was ready for it for sure though. But we came up short in the game. Gotcha. Thanks, Davion. Appreciate it. Uh, next question of Tim Fitzgerald. Uh, Davion, they got away from you pretty early in this game. So was the rest of the game just kind of um, trying to become better and, and improve upon yourselves because you probably weren't going to win it once they got up by 25 in the first half? I mean, even though they went up 25 um, before half, I mean, we still had – we still had compassion. We still wanted to win the game. So we, you know, second half, we try to keep that energy and push, just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, and do anything we need to do and keep fighting to uh, get back in the league or do anything to get close. Um, obviously, the whole team, we hate losing. We, I mean, for me, myself, losing isn't a habit at all. Like, that's been in my past um losing has never been like a, a habit or just keep going so um we kept we, we we did everything we tried to do um i feel like we haven't fought for like 100 percent, but we're gonna get there one day so we're gonna keep fighting was that good that second half good for you because you finally had a settled in and played a stretch of basketball without being in foul trouble oh uh, yeah i mean I was in foul trouble uh, two games before this game, so I just needed to be more smart on defense at the end. So, now, how tough has that been for you to learn how to how to play defense at this level with these guys? Uh, it's been real tough in the beginning. It was I feel like my ball screen, uh, my ball screen defense was real like bad, but it progressed over the time. That just keep working and working it on uh, with coaches and practices and. Learning like yo, like if I'm not on that bas if I'm not on that that screen, up on that screen, they're gonna just shoot them threes. And I've been learning that through the games. And I learned if I'm not gonna defend at all, then I'm not gonna play. So anything I need to do for my team, they they need me to defend, I'm gonna defend. So I just keep fighting and keep progressing for that. Thank you. <laughs> Next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Davion. Um, I know it wasn't the outcome you wanted, but what was it like to, you know, be out there with uh, Luke for, you know, the first time on the floor since the Peach Jam and, and uh, being able to play with him again? Um, I was really excited to play with him again. Uh, I haven't played with him since, I mean, in practice since he uh, tore the ligament in his toe. But, I mean, it, it felt real good. Uh, the time that he had on the court, it was it was he did everything he could and he did, he did good after only having like a little amount of practices that he had or the limited like practices that he had after he gotten better with his toe. But uh, he worked a lot during his progression of getting his toe better and stuff like that. So I'm proud of him through anything that he did tonight and uh, so far. Um, and then uh, what was it like, you know, to go up against a guy like Jericho Sims? Obviously, you know, a big man like he is, and he he played a really well, uh, good game today. You put yourself on mute at the end. What, you say? Oh, sorry. what was it What was it like to go up against the tough, you know, player in Jericho Sims? He had a pretty nice line. Um, just what was – what did you – were you able to learn anything from the veteran watching him? Um, yeah, I mean, it was just being more physical. Um, the rebounds that he had um, – 
just just his physicality has been like just strong. So I know for myself, I need to get stronger. I need to rebound more. <clears throat> the way he defend, he can defend guards. So um, for right now, for myself, I can only defend you know ball screens or uh, big men. So I want to you know go farther on and start guarding guards as well. So if he can switch on guards. I want to I want to learn that too. So. I'm learning as more games that we have. And obviously, you know, it's still going to be a little ways till you get Nigel back, but, you know, you, you might get some more guys back here soon. I mean, how, how big is that to get, you know, more guys back for, you know, the, the future of this, this season going, going forward? Like I said before, um, I feel like once everybody come back and we get all together and start playing together and practice and get better and uh, being a family and just doing everything together, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get better. So um, we all going to learn as a team. We're a young team. And we're going to go through some ups and downs. But at the end of the day, we're going to have to keep fighting and stand together. So I feel like everything's going to be great. We just need to stay laser focused, have the same mindset, and keep fighting together. Appreciate it, Davion. Safe travels. Sure, thank you. Next question to Michael Goins. Hey, Ron, do you feel like you're still trying to uh, find that fine line between playing really aggressively and uh, being able to avoid foul trouble? Uh, yes, every day. I mean, I just I just got to be smart at what I do. But uh, defensively, I'm I'm learning every day, and it's it's getting better. Uh, I'm not used to fouling a lot, but I'm uh, not trying to make that a habit. <clears throat> What are the top one or two things that coaches are stressing to you on uh, defensively? Say it again. It was kind of low. What are the top one or two things that coaches are stressing to you on playing defense? Um, I'll say it'll be more physicality, um, boxing out and not getting the rebound, or just boxing out in general, um, and getting up and being on a level of ball screens. I said those are the only three things. And did you miss the opportunity to play Greg against Greg Brown tonight for Texas? You said it, say it again. Did you miss the opportunity to play against Greg Brown for Texas tonight? Um, I, it necessarily wasn't my matchup, but um, I mean, anytime that we have a great competition, I'm always ready for it. So, thank you, Dave. No problem. Okay, last question to Kellis Robinette. Yeah, Davian, I had one more about Luke. Um, I mean, you know him better than anybody else on the team. What can we expect from him, and what, what can he give you guys moving forward once he gets fully healthy? Um, like y'all said, um, when y'all had when y'all when, when y'all was talking to him, uh, he's a great shooter, and as what Coach Weber said, also he's a great shooter. Uh, it's gonna come soon. He just need to keep progressing and being a, being in the gym. He's doing well right now, but. Um, He's also going to defend, uh, be athletic time to time uh, when he really needs to. Or, uh, I mean, he he's really just a great teammate. Uh, he talks on he talks well on defense. Uh, he do any he do anything that the, the team needs you to do, or your uh, your teammates need you to do, or the coach needs him to do. So like, he gonna help us in the long run. We just. Uh, being patient and helping him progress and stuff like that. So 